everybody welcome back to my channel it's your girl ray and welcome back to the fleek squad if you're new to my channel welcome um today's video is gonna be another different video um last video you know i had the little mini review first impressions whatever um this week i'm actually going to be showcasing some things that i got from ulta um like a little mini haul so to speak uh, if you didn't know, I actually work um, at Ulta as a beauty advisor. Um, that's like, you know, like very intro, entry level uh, position or whatever. Um, I started off in November uh, around like the holiday season, you know, and I stayed on. Um, I'm still considered part time, but like during like Corona and everything like that, it's like I'm still getting those hours in, you know. Um, so, yeah. And so after work lately, these I've been like just wanting to buy stuff. Um, I would like see something while I'm putting stuff away and I'm like, ooh, what's that? Ooh, I wanna try this. Or I could just I just get stuff because I'm like, ooh, I want that. Um, yeah. And also if you are curious about my hair, because you know I change my hair, I don't know. I change my hair a lot. Um, this is a wig that I actually made. Um and I got my hair from my local beauty supply store. It's called Real Human Hair. Um, I'll put all their tags and stuff in the information uh, description box below. Um, this, like I said, this is a wig I made. I have a 14 inch frontal, so ear to ear, um, and a 16, 18, and 20 inch bundle. These are the Bohemian slash pineapple curl, whatever they want to call it. I like it. It kind of reminds me of the, um, I think it was like Candy Jewel Hair Company or something like that. The the Candy Curl, Kinky Curl, whatever that Kinky Curly hair was. That's just, this is what that reminds me of Um, in terms of like texture and how it like falls. It's like a little damp still. Um, And so, yeah, I kind of like wet it down a little bit and just ran my fingers through it. Just so it, because it was like <laughs> huge Um, when I woke up. And I like secured it using bold hold active glue. So, um, yeah, you know, I don't really do baby hairs all like that because I don't like them. But yeah, that's just a little deets on my wig. Um, like I said, this is a wig that I made. I did the lazy way and just did the glue method, but I, I sewed down the frontal, obviously. Um, but I do sew wigs. I just didn't feel like doing it because it took too much time. But yeah, if you are interested, and more about my wig collection i think i might do a video on that next um so yeah let's get into this like mini haul um it's kind of like two different purchases like two different days but it's still a lot of stuff that i have um in total so i decided to just make a little mini haul video for you guys um and yeah so we're just jumping right into it so um my most recent purchase i was upset because i couldn't find my airpods case Meanwhile, they were at home the entire time. So I like grabbed some little things to make me feel better. Terrible, I know, right? So the first thing I got was um, the Amethyst Beauty Blender. Now, there are definitely plenty dupes for Beauty Blender um, across the web, across the beauty industry, but I still just like an, a regular brand Beauty Blender. Um, just because of the softness of the sponge, I do like the Real Technique sponges, but they're not as soft. So um, I got this little one because I have a blue one, the sapphire one that came out. I have the chill one, which is like a light blue teal. I have the nude, I have the black. I have the little orange and pink galaxy swirl. Um, I had the original pink one like a long time ago, but I was just like, ooh, oh, I don't have a purple one. I always say the purple one's cute. So I got that. Um, I don't like Morphe sponges though. I feel like those are too too firm. Um, but I definitely but I do want to try the I think it's like Junko. It's like a little fuzzy one. And I also seen one the other day on I think Instagram or Facebook. And it's like has like this silicone barrier or something on it. I don't know. But I got like I said, I got another beauty blender. Um, next I got, of course, is the OG Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the color Ebony. This is like the next closest thing to like black, which is the color Granite. Now, I used to have Dip Brow all the time, you know, little cream brow products. Um, 
I used to have dip brow a long time ago, but I just feel like it dried out so, so fast. But I know that if you just add like a drop of like a nourishing like oil, really lightweight oil. Oh my God, I can't close the box. If you can't, um, if it dries out, if you just drop like one little drop of oil and just stir it around, it reactivates the product. But I'm like, sis, for $18, I think it's $18. Um, yeah, no, ooh, I lied, $21. So for $21, you shouldn't be drawing out like this. But I still like the product, so I got another one. Um, yeah. And also, I will mention that I do not pay, pay full price for these, um, products because I do get a, um, a discount because I am an employee. So, yeah, um. Just to clarify that. So, like I said, beauty blenders typically retail for twenty. Um, the dip brows twenty one. So next on my list is the um, Nervina Mini Pro Pigment Palette Volume One. It is originally, I think, this says twenty nine ninety nine. I'm gonna just double check. I got like my purchase history up and whatnot. Um. Oh no, I got that on this one. Yeah, so the Mini Nervina palette is typically $29, not $29.99. Um, and I just got it because right now they're half off. Um, yeah, they're half off. So I was just like, why not? It's a cute little palette. Um, the packaging's really cute. And then it just has these cute little fun colors in it. Um like two like shimmery colors and then the rest are matte which I appreciate because a lot of like bright colors like this tend to be shimmers and I get tired of shimmer shadows I love shimmer shadows but nobody wants a sparkly eye all the time so I appreciate that this has matte shades um I'm excited to use that I'm probably gonna do like some crazy eyeshadow look with this um at some point the next thing i got in that purchase was also the daily concepts uh daily obsidian facial roller so i have the jade one by them okay so i have the jade one by them um just your standard jade roller um you can look up all the benefits of like what jade rollers do because i don't remember off the top of my head i just really like them um and I, I've been getting into like crystals and stuff like that lately. So like, I don't know. I just felt like I wanted to add this to my collection. I got my sister ro um, the Rose Quartz one by Pacifica. Because it was like really cute. and had like this cute like marble looking handle or whatever. Um, but this one says that. Um, this is being used for like its ability to reduce fine lines and wrinkles while toning and contouring. The cooling effect of the roller will also reduce puffiness and tighten pores when, and the rolling when used in tandem with products will enhance absorption. That's the main thing that I like about that. Um, Obsidian crystal is also known for its healing properties and has been a long time symbol of protection and absorbs negative energy. And it does say obsidian crystal um, is a naturally occurring element so that the color may um, very so it may not be the blackest black or something like that um and then it also has like different ways to use the roller um so like saying like if you like have sinus pressure and stuff like that to um use and stuff like that um so i mean it looks pretty much just like the jade one dual sided small large roller this one rolls really nicely. It doesn't have a squeak. I know sometimes my jade one squeaks, but um, that's that so far. Um, so I think that's all I got in that purchase. And then I want to say like last week or so, I like went a little crazy, um, <laughs> so to speak. I got a lot of stuff. Um, and it's like a really big bag. Um, so I'm just gonna put this in my lap. Yeah, like I said. Um, I will mention, like I said, I did get a rose quartz roller for my sister from Pacifica. Um, it was really cute and she really wanted it. So, um, I got it for her. I got her that and a Sunday Riley 
space race kits for like acne and stuff um acne and blemishes and stuff like that um it's normally 65 dollars, but it was on sale for i want to say like 48.75 or something like that so that was already a good price um so like why not all right so those are some things i got for her so everything wasn't for me and i think i gave her one of my lip glosses that i um that i bought as well so now get into that later. so first thing first good girl um legere i think that's how you say it this is so this is like um good girl has two fragrances uh there's one that has the shoe is opaque all the way throughout and then this one the tip of the shoe the toe is kind of like clear um i already had that in like the, the smallest size that it came to like try it out but i'm like in love with this fragrance i used to just like it because the packaging was a shoe I'm just throw that on the floor so and this little strip is like a velvet or something like that um like i said i was excited because i always like this because of the packaging because it's a sh the bottle is a shoe and it's really really freaking cute okay and so this one um on the smaller one this cut came off as a cap and it was like a spray uh it's further down i don't feel like grabbing it but this one i can just press it and i don't and it comes out here so i don't have to worry about taking the lid off and on the smaller one this seemed like to not stay on the bottle all the time so i'm really excited to have another bottle of this it smells really really good if you don't want to buy the smallest bottle um they do have a roller ball i think it's like 30 ish bucks um and this was this retails for, where is it? It was like the most expensive thing I bought that day. This, um, okay, so this is originally $96 and this is the, I wanna say the 1.7 ounce. Yes, the 1.7 ounce. Um, I can't remember, I know there's a one ounce, which is, I think what I have, I'm not really sure. I may have something smaller. I don't remember the sizes, but this 1.7 ounce at Ulta retails for $97, $96. Yes, $96. Next thing I got is um, Love Wellness brand Bye Bye Bloat. It's a digestive enzymes and organic ingredients to help you slim down and deep bloat. Um, obviously it says these haven't, these statements haven't been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. That's something that just about every supplement has, um, unless it's like an actual prescription. Most supplements and things like that will have this on it. You get 60 capsules and the dosage is to take two to four capsules after a meal or at bedtime. I'm probably going to take these at bedtime. Um, like I'm not really trying to lose weight. But I definitely feel bloated sometimes. Um, like, I like my weight right now. I'm not really trying to lose weight. Um, you know, my punch could just go down just a little, a little, little tiny bit. Because sometimes when I wear certain dresses, like, I have this new dress that I have not worn because I put it on and I felt like the little warm things from Men in Black. Like, I'll insert a picture if I can to show y'all. But I really felt like <laughs> those little warm things off of Men in Black. so um when i put that dress on so and it still got the tags on it i need to give it away or sell it or do something um but yeah these bye bye blue um pills were sorry i'm just looking through my personal history they're 24.99 for 60 capsules so if you i'm only going to take two the minimum because i feel like taking four three and four is a lot so i assuming that i take this every day this is about a 30-day supply um I might just take them whenever I feel like it. I don't, I'm not, the only thing I'm consistent with is my damn birth control. So, there's that. Um, <laughs> but like I said, I got the Bye Bye Wellness, Bye Bye Wellness, wow, Love Wellness Bye Bye Bloat Supplement. Um, I haven't tried them yet, still, still on them. Actually, I'm going to open these because I need to know if this is like a horse peel. I hope they're not huge. Good to know that these are sealed outside and inside. And they have the cotton inside. Okay, so they did like the OG like 
packaging for pills. I haven't seen cotton in pills since like I was little. Oh, they kind of big. And they have the little pillow pack inside to help absorb moisture. So this is the size of the pill, the capsule. Um, it's about as long as my nail. I don't, there we go. So, um, I don't know how excited I am about taking those. However, I am going to try them, um, has very on it. And this is just a foundation, um, a sample of the Estee Lauder Double Wear. So, okay, so this is a shade S, either SW one and a half or SN one and a half. I can't remember. Um, this was supposed to be, we were trying to find my summer shade that like matched my neck. And it's hard because we can't really color match um, right now because Miss Rona. And um, so we tried to get a color that matched my neck. And it didn't look bad in the store. But when I got home, I like put some on my arm and I was like, ooh, this is kind of dark. Um, Cause like with this light on, it's definitely gonna make me look brighter and stuff like that. But I'm not gonna let this go to waste. I'm gonna use it as contour. We don't waste products over here, okay? And then this is the Estee Lauder um, Advanced Night Repair Serum. Um, and it says, it fights key signs of aging, optimizes skin's natural repair process. Hyaluronic acid helps buy moisture to skin for optimal repair. I am 24. You are never too young to start anti-aging using anti-aging products. Never too young to start, unless you're like obviously like a teenager. Um, and your skin's just starting to, you know, change. But in your 20s, there's nothing wrong with using anti-aging products. So the next thing I got was this Morphe Coca-Cola Thirst for Life Artistry Palette. Um... I was debating if I wanted it. And just so like what it says, it's 18 shades of happiness. Let those good time vibes run wild, babe. From ice cold blues and iconic reds to energizing neutrals, this palette of powerful shades has a legendary life of its own. And this retails for $22. $22 for 18 shades is not bad. Um, and some of them are shadows, some of them are pressed pigments. Morphe tends to do that with their palettes, is have a combination of pressed pigments and uh, eyeshadow. And yes, there is a difference, trust me, okay? So I'm just gonna take it out. The box is already cute, right? But look at this. Like, I showed my sister all the stuff I bought when I bought it. But look at this package, like it's so freaking cute, okay? Um, ooh. The little protective layer with the shades came out. But look at this palette, y'all. I'm really excited for this red glitter here and this like silver-ish. It's like a silver, but it has like a, yeah, no, it's a silver. But I'm really excited for those glitters and then I'm um, trying not to blind y'all. But like these reds and this like little icy blue right here. I'm excited for it, okay? Like I'm, I'm excited to play with this. Um, And like some of the shade names are really cute. So... That silver glitter is called happiness and that red glitter is called pop culture. And I'm just like, that's really cute. And like this little shimmery color here. Uh oh, oh no, I just kind of like messed up one. Okay, but this color here, it's like a white pearl it has like a green shift to it. And it's really sheer, but it's really pretty. You can't really see it, but it just gives like this like a nice really wet look. Anyway, it's called Fizz and that's really cute. So like I said, I'm excited to try. I kind of scratched this color right here it's in the corner. It's name drop. I scratched it with the protector trying to catch it. But no, I'm excited to play with this. I really like this palette and the colors. It's really cute. Again, another little fun palette. I'm assuming that it's going to have the same, you know, Morphe formula that they all have. The next thing that I got was something that really just interested me because it was this big old box and I was like, what is this? Um, like I really had no idea what it was. So I looked this product up after I bought it because I was just confused because I saw something on it and I was like, what? Um, 
and it's a the skincare starts with a sip pure gold collagen promotes younger health younger looking skin helps support healthy looking hair and nose skin to support skin hydration and elasticity reduce the appearance of wrinkles and it say it says collagen hyaluronic acid borage or borage oil i don't know multivitamin and multi-mineral supplement it's hefty it was 12.49 um it was 12.49 but of course i didn't pay that much now i looked on their website this 10 bottle thing is like 65 dollars i was like what so i don't know why there's such a huge difference in the cost um at least i believe this it was i think it was the 10 day supply the 10 day supply um and it says to take um one bottle per day for if you want to stimulate skin hydration you do it for take these for three weeks for six weeks for skin smoothness and nine weeks for skin firmness don't exceed the daily dose so you really just literally take one bottle a day um they said i think on the website it says like a um passion fruit peach passion fruit flavor or something like that um let me open it back up just so i can show you one i think they're only 1.7 ounces so this basically the same amount of my perfume um and this is the bottle i haven't tried one yet because i want to do this first but i'm gonna keep them in the fridge so they're cold and just see what happens i don't expect to see any major differences because it's only for 10 days and they say three weeks for like skin hydration so yeah um so this next product is something that i received um called it's by exuvians it's a resurfacing glycolic wash so it's a cleanser um this one has aha formula it says clarify your skin every day preparing it for optimal benefits from your daily ritual Formulated with glycolic acid, AHA, and bionic acid, this foaming mousse cleanses clogged pores and targets dullness and uneven or rough texture, soap-free and pH balanced to optimize results while minimizing the potential for irritation. I'm just curious to see how this works. Um, anything with the AHA, though, or BHA, you do want to make sure that you use sunscreen, um, whether it's just straight sunscreen, SPF, um, in your moisturizer, things like that. Um, like I said, I haven't tried it out because I'm using up one cleanser now, which is the Ar Urban uh, Skin RX um, Even Tone Cleansing Bar. Um, so this is it. It's a mousse. Comes out of pump. So we'll see how that works whenever I decide to use it. Um, and this is like the Embrace line. I'm so I also got um, another product I received, which is the Glycolic perfecting moisturizer 8% glycolic acid and 3% brightening extract bright and restore radiance smooth lines wrink and wrinkles and moisturize so again this also has um aha glycolic acid so again spf is important um i just want to see the consistency of this actually um it don't I mean, it doesn't smell nasty. Kind of smell like an old lady, if that could be a smell. Um, but yeah, it doesn't seem too thick. Oh, I lie. It's a little thick. A little bit, but I don't mind thick moisturizers because I have dry skin. So, you know, we'll see how that works. Um, and I will, let me just look up the prices on those two. Okay. And so if you were interested in either of the products, those by Exuviance, like I said, I haven't used them yet because um, I'm trying to finish one thing before I incorporate new items into my regimen. Um, the Glycolic Perfecting Moisturizer is $47 for, um, how many, how much do you get into it? Uh, I didn't want to put all of it. Um, so it's $47 for 1.6 ounces. Um, for moisturizers, that's not bad considering you shouldn't be using the half a gel. Like, you don't need a lot. Um, and then the wash is $32 for 4.2 ounces. So, not bad sizes. Not bad sizes at all. Sugar Bear Hair. 
I got another bottle of these because I used them. Um, I first used them a year ago, a little over a year ago, um, when I cut my hair to a bob that was like right here. It was hot. I was over it. I cut my hair into a bob right there. Um, kept like the front a little bit longer because, you know, bangs and whatnot. So, um, and I was like, damn, I don't know how my hair is going to look curly. I look crazy a little bit. Um, but I started taking Sugar Bear hair. Um, they're $29.99 a bottle. So basically $30. Um, 60 gummies two gummies a day so it's a 30 day supply so you're basically basically spending a dollar a day um has key features by its folic acid vitamin c um support hair and nails lab tested for quality vegetarian um delicious soft chewy gummy flavor from natural sources they're like a berry flavor and i was skeptical about these because the first time i ever saw these was i think kylie jenner was promoting them or something like that and i was like is she really using these like is she really because y'all and all know the rumor about her and her skincare that she may or may not actually use um but yeah so <laughs> um i was skeptical about them but i was like why not if they work they work if they don't they don't oops so yeah um i definitely do enjoy these like i said they taste good um they didn't break me out. I know some hair supplements definitely because of the biotin cause breakouts and stuff, acne wise. They didn't happen for me. Um, what else? They're vegetarian, um, gluten free. They're a really good gummy. Um, they taste good. They work. Like my nails were. I was. I was filing slash clipping my nails down. Like every couple of days so they were just growing i do have a bottle i have like five days left in the bottle i haven't been taking them consistently but i'm definitely trying to get more consistent with my supplements and vitamins and things like that um but yeah these definitely worked i feel like my hair grew about an inch maybe um in the month that i took these but i always like to take a break um in between bottles that way my body doesn't get too used to it and it's just like okay now the biggest thing of this haul is that Too Faced Tutti Fruity collection all of the Too Faced Tutti Fruity products were 75% off I didn't grab any of the foundation I think so is that everything yes all right so I didn't grab any of the foundations just because I wasn't interested in grabbing another foundation um and I think the ones that we had left definitely wouldn't have been my color because I, in Too Faced, my summer color was Butter Pecan and the um, Born This Way. And I just really didn't feel like trying to find another color because the Tutti Fruity Do You foundations have far less shades and I just didn't feel like going through that um, and trying to figure out what my shade was. But they were 75% off. Um... And then I also got whatever that price was. I got my employee discount as well. So I was like, why not? So yeah, I um gave my sister one of the lip glosses from this. Oh, and I also got her a um, Mario Badescu facial spray. The rose water herb and aloe one. The like pinkish orange one. Um, like one of those. So I got my sister a couple things. So it all wasn't for me. Um, but yeah. So I, I'm going to start with these. Do you... Fresh Glow Luminous Face Primers. I don't know why I thought the word pearl was in here. Um, pearl is a shade. I th so this comes in three shades. Pearl, Radiant Pearl, Radiant Nude, and Radiant Caramel. Caramel, Caramel, Sumi. I don't care. Um, and so it's infused with water, juicy watermelon and fresh cucumber. So this is going to be hydrating. This is going to be glowy, dewy, whatever. Um... So I got the colors Radiant Nude and Radiant Caramel. So this is Radiant Nude. Pretty light, right? Pretty light. But I was like, it's a primer. I'm throwing on foundation. You don't use a lot, whatever. But then I also got Radiant Caramel because, honey, she just looked good. Okay, she just looks good. Um, these were originally um, $34. 
$34 originally, right? It's crazy. So they were like, woo. And so they were originally $34 for 1.3 fluid ounces. Um, again, with primers, you're not using a lot. You should not be using four pumps of primer. One to two pumps, that's it. One to two pumps, that's it. They smell, let's see if I can unscrew them this way. They smell watermelony. Is that supposed to look like that? Like, is this something that push it up? Because, hold on, because that pump looked weird. Okay, so yeah, that is how it Maybe it's something that pushes the product up. I don't know. Like, what there? I don't know. Whatever. Either way, they smell good. Okay, so um, when I got home, I swatched them because I was like, I don't know which color like really will work for me. Um, like I said, this nude is very light, but I was like, ooh, this might look orange on me. Who knows? Um, but I also decided that depending on the look, if I want to go for something more bronzy, maybe I'll do this one. If I want something like bright and light, maybe I'll do this one. Maybe I'll mix them. Who cares? They were cheap <laughs> and they're cute. So I got those. Um... I threw the boxes all the box on the floor. So yeah, I got those. Um, then I got this You're So Jelly highlight jelly highlighter. This is originally thirty dollars for how much? Point six fluid ounces, and this is the color Bourbon Bronze. It smells so good. Well, not smell it smells like it smells like candy um i can't tell you what candy it kind of reminds me of like the clear pineapple gummy bears um but this is the consistency um like i said it's not really pouring out too much like it's nice okay um like it's a bronzy color let me see so I can see if that pumps. I didn't feel like pumping the other one. So this is like me applying a lot, you know, just so y'all can see the color. It smells it smells so good. Um like I said this is originally $30, but again, it was 75% off. So this is just like the fact that like you can just barely see it on my skin, it just adds a really nice sheen oh, beautiful and like out of the camera like you can kind of see like you can see where i put it but it's nothing too crazy obviously you would not apply this much um unless you want to be a little be extra baby girl do what you want <laughs> um so yeah so there's that then i got the tutti fruity pineapple paradise strobing bronzer highlighting duo in pineapple sun now, this is originally, this is normally $30 as well for 8 grams, 0.28 ounces. Um, I'm curious to see if they had different shades of this because I felt like they did. Okay, so I just looked this up. So Pineapple Sun is the lighter of the two and then pineapple uh and then toasted pineapple is the darker one now we didn't have any more toasted pineapple um and it had a shade like the shades were definitely darker um however i don't really use glowy bronzers like aluminum like shimmery bronzers i do like the highlight shade because the toasted pineapple definitely had a more like goldy orangey type of color so on me i don't mind this highlight shade um i put it let me see i'm gonna try to pack some more like i don't mind this highlight shade on me um 
This bronzer, however, I don't know why I'm like, I mean, I put it like right here and you can't really see it on me, um, which I don't mind because I don't use shimmery bronzers. So I feel like if I were to put this on top of my contour or whatever, it'll just give me a nice subtle glow, subtle oomph. Um, which is fine for me, like I said, because I feel like the toasted pineapple definitely would be way too dark for me. So, because at first I was like, oh, I could have sworn it was a darker one, dang it. But now I'm not too mad about that. Um, look, seeing what it looks like. Um, so next thing I got are some lip glosses. I got the Tutti Fruity Comfort, Juicy Fruits Comfort Lip Glaze. And I got the color dream sickle um which is like this corally peachy goodness like mm. these smell like um what scent is this supposed to be oh just a 2d fruity scent and it, it just smells like a fruity punch a fruit punch bubble gummy situation and then also i got two of the watermelon ones so these smell like watermelon um i got the color bump and rind i'm kind of mad about that name um bump and rind which is a like a deeper peachy corally color i don't like it's oh just so so cute yeah, it smells like watermelon. It smells like watermelon candy, but like a soft watermelon candy. Nothing like not like watermelon Jolly Rancher, but like if that was like just the faint, like if you ate one and nothing else and you just had that oomph of watermelon on your breath. And then I also had the color um a melon reasons, but I gave that to my sister. It was a lighter peachy nudie color. Like all of the watermelon ones are like form except for Mega Melons, was it which is a pink, but um a melon reasons was like a cute little um color and then um so so the last thing that i had um things something that i did not purchase but um we received these from the sunday riley rep um just like you know sample is the CEO vitamin C brightening serum, it's 15% vitamin C. And then the Good Genes lactic acid treatment. I have used both of these more so this, the vitamin CEO vitamin C, because I used to get the multivitamins kit, which is the CEO plus um, the Luna sleeping oil. So I definitely know I like this. Um, the Good Genes, I've heard a lot of the things about it um, when we were doing um, facials and stuff like that. Uh, our esthetician um use like the good jeans a nice a nice layer of it and then um let it sit on the skin for a little bit and then i think she i can't remember if she wiped it off or just like let it rub it in and let it absorb but it was basically kind of like a like a mini 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 um chemical pill um i believe is like what she said and my skin was so soft i feel like but like i said sunday riley has really good products so um definitely interest like if you're interested check those out um okay so the good jeans um has two sizes it comes in a, a one ounce and a 1.7 ounce so the one ounce is 85 dollars and then the 1.7 ounce is 122 dollars but if they were like doing a proportion it's really 142 dollar value um but they but it retails for 122 um and then the CEO also comes in two sizes. Um, one ounce is eight, also $85. And the 1.7 ounce is um, 122. Now the 1.7 ounce is online only for us. Um, let me just double check that on the, but the 1.7 ounce can also be purchased in stores of the good jeans. So the 1.7 ounce of the CEO is online only as of right now um but yeah i really just like like i said i just really wanted to buy stuff um all in all 
I sent a decent penny um, in Ulta. And I'm not mad at it. I am not mad at it. Ooh. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm so tired. Like I had a migraine all night and um, but yeah, so like I said, oh, I love when it's like dry and it doesn't get too big and it's like this cute little curl situation. Cause if I take it from behind my ear, I feel like it's like caught in my face a little too much. Yeah. So, uh, thanks for watching. I know this is like a very, it was kind of a long video, a lot of chit chat, um, and stuff like that. But I really just want to show y'all all the different things that we have at Ulta. Um, a lot of people sleep on Ulta. Don't sleep on Ulta, okay? And I'm not saying that just because I work there. I'm saying that because you can get some of your like standard products like, um like I'm trying to think of brands like you can get some if you like a certain covergirl mascara or a certain maybelline mascara you can get that right you can get your standard drugstore products right but you can also get your high end you can get your Too faith you can get your your um Estee Lauder, you can get your Tarte, your Urban Decay, you can, but you can also get like your CeraVe, your Cetaphil, your Neutrogena. Like the fact I like Ulta is because it has such a wide range of um, brands in terms of like drugstore. I don't really like to call them drugstore because like, I mean, yes, you get them in drugstores, but like, and I don't like to call them lower end. I would just say lower priced um because i don't think that they're lower quality um i've definitely used some lower priced products because i don't like to call them drugstore lower priced products that have worked far better for me personally than a higher end or what we call a prestige brands um like i'm trying to think of an example like for example eyebrow pencils i love love benefit precisely my brow pencils right there are 24 dollars come in shades one two three four four and a half five and six and then like a cool gray i think is another one that they added on so like uh, they have a decent amount of shades like seven or eight pencils but they're 24 dollars like i said work amazing i like the formula they're not too waxy they don't rub off yada 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 but it's like i said it's 24 dollars when I can go walk over right to our ColourPop section, which is on the lower price half of the store, and get four of those pencils for $24 because they're $6 a pop. And I can get like my soft black for like my tail or when I want a bolder brow, but I can also get my brunette. Um, and so that's one thing that I really like about Ulta is that like there's alternatives that won't cost as much and you can get more, you know, like for another example like i said i love beauty blenders because of the softness it's the softness for me however there is nothing wrong with the real technique sponge um and the real technique sponge is 5.99 for just one so if and they have a multi-pack so if you are going to spend 20 dollars on one beauty blender you can get four real technique sponges for $19.99 i believe and right now real techniques most of their products are buy one get one 50 percent off just saying so if you want to get some brushes um uh, yeah so but i'm just saying like there's alternatives sometimes you're gonna get more for your buck uh, more bang for your buck like they also have like the two pack which is 9.99 so and if you do the buy one get one 50 percent off that's basically 10 plus five that's 15 dollars for four sponges instead of buying 19.99 for the four pack you know you can finesse um and so that's one thing that i really like about Ulta. we always have deals on a lot of products um like i said that norvina palette was 50 percent off it's normally 29 dollars. it's gonna sell for what 14.50 or so yeah 14.50 um and like with my like i said i got a discount because i worked there so i got like for ten dollars and some change or something like that but either way Ulta always has sales whether now i will say that you know the high-end or prestige brands whatever you want to call them um 
don't go on sale as often, but sometimes Ulta will send a 20% coupon that works on everything in the store, which means fragrances um, and those higher end luxury prestige brands that you whatever, like I said, whatever you want to call them. To me, it's all makeup. It's all, you know, those things like that. So I really just wanted to like put that in there because people, like I said, people sleep on Ulta um, and you really shouldn't. Um... So yeah, definitely go check out your local Ulta. We do require face masks. You should be wearing it anyway, especially if you're in Cuyahoga County. I don't know why, you know, people had to ask. Wear your mask. I know it's hot. It's hard to breathe in them sometimes. But we got to do it if we want this pandemic to be over. Um, but yes, go into your local Ulta. Check them out, walk around the store, look at some products um, and just really like explore. Obviously, you can't swatch and stuff like that, but like definitely take a look around because I got so much great stuff at like an amazing price. And that's like, like not including my discount. I think that a lot of these products were still at a great price because a lot of this stuff was on sale. And when have you ever heard of like. Like, I will say the Too Faced Tutti Fruity was definitely on sale on the website as well, and it still is. But, like, what? it's Too Faced. These products are normally $30 a pop, $20 for the lip gloss. On With 75% off on the lip gloss, it's $5. Like, when are you going to get a deal like that? So, I really just want, like I said, this video has been long. A lot of talking, a lot of chit-chat. But I really just wanted to stress, like, how much stuff you can get and also the variety that we have because i really like i said i was low low key on crazy and i just wanted to buy stuff so maybe now maybe i'll do a sephora haul next time i don't go to sephora as much now that i work at ulta but there are some things that i cannot get at ulta <laughs> fenty sis come on over to the other side i understand that you want all your coins but just just come on to the other side and make me like my life a lot easier um but yeah so like i said thanks for watching all this crazy stuff that i got it will be used don't worry um but yeah thanks for watching my video i'll see you next time